Hey, hey, yo, Mike's on. Listen, do me a favor. Tell Reggie to let bygones be bygones with his cap and ass. No intelligent person believes he can stand in the ring with me. I got bigger fish to fry, you know, against Evander in May. Uh, you, you know, I heard, I heard that he's got a little juice. He's got a little juice out there in Huntsville. <laughs> but, you know, he's still delusional. I'll be on the Rocket City Network very soon. And I'm going to address him. Tell Jay the Third I agree that Tom Brady is not the best ever. And shout out to Bobby Drake, Eric, and LaMarcus. But not Reggie, no way. Tell Sergeant Waters to stop bullshit and go get vaccinated. Um, so a friend of the show, uh, one of the greatest heavyweights allegedly of all time, Iron Mike. Um, he had some very harsh words to Mayweather, right? Saying that Mayweather is not the greatest. Sugar Ray Robinson was greater and Chavez was greater because they fought more opponents. Um, as far as Mike, let's put the microscope under him. Where do you rank him amongst the top headweights of all time? He's about ranked number 10. The reason why I say this is Mike really didn't box nobody for real. He just was knocking them out. But then when he did box and, and, and had to go a few rounds like with Holyfield, he got yeah. beat. So Holyfield is way big because he's smarter boxer. He didn't yeah. come out winging. It was more like a Joe, uh, Tyson's more like old George Foreman fight, you know? But, I got, uh, I got, I got George Foreman ahead of Mike Tyson. I got uh, George Foreman ahead of Mike Tyson. I do too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so Mike Tyson is a good fighter, but what hurt Mike for my rankings is you didn't even give a chance for somebody else to even show their skills. You just knock them out, which that's cool because you won. But to me, if you hit, if I hit you hard in the right place, I could end your uh in the round right there. But when you go the distance, that let me know what kind of boxer you are. Mike couldn't go the distance with nobody. He was too busy knocking them out. Okay, so you got you you definitely have Holyfield ahead of Mike Tyson. Yes, sir. Okay, and you said Mike Tyson's number ten. Yep. Um, just thinking about off the top of my head, I could very well name about. Eight or Joel nine Storm, boxers. I mean, uh, uh, Smoking Joe, he's up there. Smoking yeah. Joe, to me, yeah. Smoking Joe yeah. is number two. Y yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he was he was great. Um, Ali, of course, from my hometown, my home state is the number one. The reason why I say Ali is because Ali was smart and he got his license taken for three years. Even though Mike Tyson lost his license, but when he came back, he wasn't really out there. And then when he met Robin Gibbons, that did it. He ain't know how to handle no lady like her. And that's when he just fell on off. But I know me and Mike, we ain't had no, uh, we've been on, you know, we've been having some, you know, going and going at it here and there. But Mike is Mike. And Mike know where I'm at. And, you know, we squashed it and everything. But he's, uh, like I say, he's not one of the top, he's just on the top 10 for me. So actually, I got about 10 fighters or more that are, that I have ranked higher than Tyson. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run down my list. All right. Uh, let's say Ali, Marciano, Foreman, Sonny Liston, Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, yes, sir. Max Bear, yes, sir. Larry Holmes, yep. Lennox Lewis, yep. Holyfield, yep. Kali Klitschko, yep. Joe Frazier, yep. and Riddick Bowe. They're about the same as me. You about to, them about the same people that I will pick as well. But again, not taking them from Mike, it's just that, you know, Mike really, can't, he was just knocking people out with the people he was fighting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. And you can't, I mean, even though you win, you can't even see nobody else's skills. And, and, and I know you want to go on and win. That's cool. But sometimes when you win that way, it also hurts you at the end of the day. Because, like I say, I'm a sprinter when it yeah. comes to running. So I can do a 200-yard dash, a 100-yard dash, a 50-yard dash. But when it comes to a, a mile, I ain't going to make it because I ain't used to running that far. You see what I'm saying? Same thing yeah. with Mike. If yeah, Mike yeah. had went the distance, he, just, he could still win the fight, but he should at least not finish him, go on and finish him when, like Ali did. Ali finished him when he wanted to finish him, and that lets you see his skills. Mike Tyson just boom, 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 and that's it. See? That's why hey, show, he, hey, 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 show them rings again, man. Look like you went to Ice Champs. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay, okay, yeah. man. They blinging. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what, this is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan right here, a real fan. If yeah. you ain't met a Steelers fan in your life, this is the number one fan right here. I don't yeah. watch, I don't miss no Pittsburgh Steelers game. I don't talk about them, and I'm missing that. I guarantee you, most fans. Oh man, I didn't get to see all the game. I didn't. Now nah, you'll never hear that from MC Razor. Press. I was overseas in Korea and didn't miss the game. Got mad because somebody called me and told me what happened before I seen it. Yeah. Die hard fan, baby. Six dreams. That's what's up. That's what's up. So back to Mike Tyson, right? Um, so if he's not top 10 amongst the heavyweights, he shouldn't even be in a, the argument he, he, for greatness. In the top. Put it this way. He'd be, he, he would be in, in, in about the 20th with all them people you name. He about <laughs> 1920. Yeah. You hear that, Mike? You hear that, Mike? Yeah, he got Mike you about down. 1920. Man. Um, so in his in his anger towards towards Mayweather, um, he brought up Chavez, right? He brought up Sugar Ray Robinson, which I think a lot of people feel that Sugar Ray Robinson is one of the greatest, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but my thing is, a lot of those older fighters, and I'm not knocking them, right? They fought guys who had like 30 losses. Yeah, I, I mean, like you're not fighting top level competition. That's right. And That's then right. and 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 then you know. Um, back to Mike, he didn't beat any elite fighters of his generation, right? That's what I'm saying. He fought a, a older Larry Holmes. Right. Um, Larry Holmes is what, 40 years old almost. The only person he, he right. really fought was Lennox Lewis and uh, Holyfield. And he lost and but and, Bo, and, and Reddy Bo? No, he didn't fight Reddy Bo. I mean, he didn't fight, that's right, he didn't yeah, fight Reddy yeah. Bo. Right? Uh, okay. but, I, but I believe that Reddy Bo was a better yeah, was a better boxer in the '90s than, than Tyson because you know, of course, Tyson did his bid um, in the penitentiary, but even when he got out, he still had about ten years to dominate the heavyweight division, and I don't think he did that. Um, he no. he was he he started losing to no namers, man. So I when so, he yeah, cause see, he lost his confidence level once he started getting beat. He ain't, he wasn't even practicing hard no more. Why? Because he was just knocking people out. He thought he was going to do that to Holyfield, and it didn't work. Actually, and, and, you know, to top that, actually, Mike Tyson admitted that he hasn't trained properly since 1988. And he said that back in 2002. Right. Um, that was actually after he got rid of Kevin Rooney is when his training went down because he, he wanted a yes man in the yeah. corner. And a year yeah. later, we saw what happened. Yeah. Then check you this know. out, man. What about Mayweather? See, in his category, I'm going to be honest with you. Mayweather, Mayweather is cocky. He arrogant a little bit. But, hey. You got to be a boxer. Hey, and, bad, yeah, you got to be. He's bad, though. I got, okay, he back, so. He back it up. He back it up. I can't take nothing from Mayweather. Mayweather. I got Mayweather, Mayweather top. I got Mayweather top top three all time. But here's what I will say. Yeah. Roy Jones Jr. was the bad boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ro yeah, Roy. I like um, Roy better than Mayweather, believe it or not. I mean, but it could be argued. I don't argued. know why he was going up and down, but hey. Yeah. That, 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 when he tried to lose weight and all that, that's when Yeah, he, yeah, it does something to you. Just left it alone. The, you know, so the reason why I put Mayweather uh, top three is because a lot of folks, they try to slight him by saying, well, you know, Mayweather's the best. He was the best uh, defensive fighter, right? Well, that's part that's of the game. That's not a slight to me, right? No. So you mean to tell me he's the best defensive fighter, right? He he ranks the highest as far as uh, connect percentage on the offensive side, right? So, but him being the best defensive fighter of all time, that should automatically put him in the top three. Exactly, because look at this. Some people feel like, man, because yeah. I seen one time, I seen him just dance, and I was getting upset, like, man, when you going to throw a punch? But if you think about it, he got the best. You need to come at him. He ain't got to throw no punches. Basically, yeah. that's what he was doing. I get that. Yeah, and then and a lot a lot of times he throws more punches. Well, he connects at a higher rate than the opponent yeah. does. Yeah. You know, so um, I know a lot of people don't like it when I got him in my top three. But I mean, like based off of their criticism, right. best money, defensive fighter, money highest, yeah, yeah, high, highest connect percentage. He's made the most money. You yes, know, sir. sold out the most venues. Yes, what sir. More, more can you ask for? Can't Plus, you, was unfeed. Can't take it away, hey, May. When when May when the money team is in the building, you can yeah. best believe it's a lot of money going on. What they definitely, say is a definitely. whole lot of money. Whole lot of money. 
Yes, well, there you have it, folks. Reggie Fresh said, Iron Mike, shut your mouth. <laughs> You're not top 20. <laughs> hey, Mike, now, now, see, hey, if you don't come back at me because, uh, you know, we just discussed you and I told you my opinion, but uh, if you want to get back, you know, come back at me again, then, you know, we can start where we left off at, but I think we cool right now, so let's leave it that way. Man, we'll, we'll see. He going to see this too, man. He going to see this. I know he's going to see it. He going to see this. Hey, one last time, man, show out the ice. Show out the ice. <laughs> Ooh, you know I'm right. Oh man, flexing on them. There you have Shut it, up. folks. The Rocket City Network. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we out. Yep. Yeah.